in this next video, we're going to take our uh, basic uh, walls that we've just put in in the previous video and do a roof across it. Uh, in the previous video, we talked about two different ways we might do that. One is by a rafter system. The other is using a truss. The more likely system is going to be the use of a truss. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use just in the same way we used a, a BIM or Revit uh, wall system, we're going to just put in a uh, Revit roofing system. And then in the next video, video I'll show you how to uh, create a truss. So uh, let's go do it. So to do that, what we're going to do is we need a, a plan view that we're going to work from. I'm going to go ahead and just go to uh, the it doesn't really matter. We'll do the top of wall. Okay. So we can see our walls right here. There's our walls. And we want to span from here to here with a set of rafters. And we want these two ends here to be gables. And so to do that, we're going to first create a, a wall system. Uh, you'll see a variety of different types of wall systems. Uh, very generic in many ways. Um, You'll probably these two you won't see because I created those. Uh, so let's just create one kind of from scratch so that you can get it correct. So I'm just going to use a basic. Uh, well, let's go into I'm sorry, that's walls. I want to go into architecture. Let's go into roofs here and we'll, we'll see a similar type of thing. Um, I think this wood rafter 8 inch asphalt shingle is uh, in yours. Uh, I know a generic one is, so I'm just going to start with a generic. So I'm going to go into generic and edit the type. And then uh, you'll see generic 9 inch. Let's uh, duplicate that and we'll call this um, a 6, uh, 2 by 6, 2 by 6 uh, wood rafters. Wood rafters. Uh, with uh, three quarter inch plywood. And then we're going to uh, change its structure. So we're going to go into structure. You'll see that it's defaulted to this structure right here. So I'm going to go in here, uh, type in uh, lumber, and find the uh, softwood lumber. Say OK to that. And then here we're going to, this should be a nominal, I mean an actual of 5.5 for a 2 by 6, right? And then we know, we're going to go ahead and add our plywood since it's a part of the structure. So I'm going to insert another, this would be called a substrate. And it would be, uh, once again, uh, it could be OSB, it could be plywood. I'll just go ahead and call it plywood. We can always change that later if, if our project demand changes. And then I'm going to make it 3 quarter inch plywood. 3 slash 4 inch. Oops, got a double, double inch number, inch symbol there. Now I accept that. So we've got plywood and then we have, uh, you know, probably Douglas fir or something like that. Uh, 5 inch wood there. So we're going to say OK to that. OK to that. And now we're ready to draw our roof. Uh, we can do, we want a two, I want a two foot overhang on this. OK, so uh, there's a couple of different ways we could do it. I'm going to, uh, you know, you're going to go into roofs and I can set the overhang automatically by putting two feet here. Uh, that works. And then I can say, and then it'll say, well, I can pick walls uh, to to do the two feet from. So I do, I want the two feet on this side or this side. And so I'll just pick the wall that I want. Same thing here, same thing here, same thing here, and same thing here. Now we have all uh, the uh, walls defined that kind of uh, create our, our roof. And we want this to be a gable, uh, not a hip. So we don't want this wall to slope or this roof to slope and this roof to slope. If all four slope, that would be a hip roof, correct? So what we want to do is modify this 
and or we could just go in there and selected it. Uh, we select this and you'll notice right up here it says this line is offset two feet, overhang two feet, and defines a slope. And we don't want it to define a slope, so we're going to uncheck that. Then we're going to go over here and do the same thing here. And not we don't want that line defining a slope. We want just this and this line. And so we want them to slope up to a central ridge. And we also, I'm going to set them at 612. That's probably a little bit more reasonable uh, slope. And then I'm going to put, uh, the other way to do that is to go in and select this and then select this right here. And, okay, so now we have those both defined. It's, and we're really ready to, to form that, that slope group. So I'm going to just say, yeah, do it. Uh, of course, since we're at the uh, top of wall plate, our section cut is cutting through the majority of the roof. So let's go to a better view to kind of look and see what we've done here. So I'm going to go to 3D, and there's our roof. And there's a couple of things we need to look at it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut a section through here, a, a building section. Uh, these were wall sections that we cut earlier. Now I'm going to cut a building section through here. So let's go back to the... Uh, doesn't really matter top of wall plate and let's put a, a, a section in here so we're going to go uh, views section cut uh, save the project save 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 some more and then we want a wall section we want a building section and then I'm going to cut a building section from here to here okay right now it's looking in that direction it's looking all the way out to here uh, because it's looking all the way out to here, these rafters won't appear, which is probably good because they'll just confuse us uh, as we're looking. So, And then I can just double click on the little symbol right here. And uh, now we can see the section. That's, of course, the wall section. Uh, we can see the section. Let's go into a little bit more fine detail. And then let's go in here and create. Uh, we'll shade it just here real quickly so now uh, it's sitting on top of our roof if it hadn't have been we could do an offset and move it but because we use the wall we pick walls instead of lines uh, it set uh, it set the rafters on top of the wall now the reality is is that this rafter would most likely have a notch in it and be bird's mouth or they could use hangers and actually uh, put it flush up against there. Some people use hangers now because they're not that expensive. And cutting all those birds' mouths, uh, uh, it's a lot less work, right? If we just put a hanger in there and nail it. So uh, it's it's kind of six one, half dozen the other. Uh, it'll drop it further down. The other thing is, as we might notice, is that this has been what we call plum cut. Okay, so the two foot overhang is from here out from the outside of the wall to here. Um, if we wanted this to be cut uh, this way, uh, instead of plum cut, square cut, what we would do is select it. We would go in here and instead of plum cut, we would say, you know, cut it square. Now you'll notice that it has a, a fascia depth. Okay, uh, in other words, how deep is the fascia that we want to cut here and you can do a two-way cut this is two-way uh, I guess all square cuts are, are two-way so what I'm going to do is say I just want it cut straight across I don't want it cut down and then cut across so I'm just going to say um, I'll make the fascia depth seven inches just so that what it'll do is it'll go all the way out to the edge there and when we get into finishing this off in the envelope, uh, you'll see how we we actually finish that. But right now we're just dealing with the structural subsystem. So now we have our rafters in place. Uh, we need a ceiling in here and a, some ceiling joists. Uh, so we're going to put those in as ceilings. So let's go back to uh, we'll just go back to top of wall plate again. Okay. Um, or better yet, let's just go to finish floor. And that way we won't see the, the roof there. And somehow that wall got changed, didn't it? 
I guess when I was jacking around. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's what we want. So anyway, uh, let's put uh, the ceiling in here. And to do that, what we're going to do is uh, create the, the ceiling depth. Uh, since we don't know how deep that ceiling joist would have to be uh, structurally, we could you know, guess at 2 by 6 or 2 by 8. Let's just assume a 2 by 6 uh, at this point. And then, so we're going to put the ceiling in. Uh, so we're going to go architecture. We're going to go ceiling here. And uh, compound ceiling, 2 by 8 ceiling joist. Okay. Um, and we see uh, GWB uh, on metal wood. You probably don't have this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make it. So we're just going to take a, a, a default one here. This is a, a gypsum wall board on metal stud. And we're going to edit the type. Duplicate it again. And we'll call this a, uh, a two by six, whoops, two by six uh, ceiling joist. And uh, we'll go into edit. And the structure, of course, is not a metal stud in this case. Uh, we'll go to lumber. And we'll go softwoods here, and we'll say OK. And then this would be 5.5, 5.5. And we're not going to put the gypsum wall board on it right now. We'll do that in our uh, when we're putting interior finishes on it. So we're going to say OK. And we'll edit. Whoops. Oh, we didn't delete it. I'm sorry. We didn't delete it. And so we'll say OK now. So we've got our 2 by 6 uh, ceiling joist. And uh, let's see if we can get to a view where we can see that. Um, let's try to 3D view, see what we can see in 3D view. Oh, we haven't set it yet. I'm sorry. We built the ceiling joist, but we hadn't put the ceiling joist in. So I'm going to go back to my uh, first finish four view and go back into ceilings. We'll select it. And then we can either automatic ceiling it, which it would put it to the inside boundary. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to sketch it and sketch it. I'm going to use the triangle here. And I'm just going to run the ceiling joists uh, to the center of the walls, which would probably be the, the over, overlap that it would have. Come on. Now, why aren't you snapping here? Oh, there it was. Right there. Okay. And I could lock those in. So that if I move the walls, uh, everything else would move with it. Oh, that's the reason right there. Never mind. Let's take this and move that out to there. Let's move it a little bit closer. There we go. Now, that's better. Okay, it's snapping. So we're in pretty good shape there. We're going to say, OK. Now let's go back to that 3D view. And yes, there it is right there. OK. And uh, right now it's sitting in side of. Let's do go back to our uh, building section. Oh, we haven't created a building section yet, have we? Oh, yeah, we did right there. Uh, let's rename that so we know what it is. Building section. And let's go back to building section here. Do we have it open? Yes, we do. Okay, so you can see 
our ceiling here. There's our ceiling joists attaching in there. Uh, and our ceiling. So anyway, so there's our rafters. All our details aren't in there. We would do those in sections. BIM usually uh, approaches that you you don't model all those things in. What you do is when you do a wall section, then you detail line it. And we'll kind of talk more about that. Uh, so this is a, a rafter, in a sense, a rafter layout here with a simple overhang and central rafter construction. Uh, we don't have a ridge beam in. Okay, we don't have uh, the cross ties, we don't have the struts, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, like I said before, we'd probably do those. Uh, well, BIM expects you to do those in the uh, wall sections, and we'll do that when we get uh, later on. So, now we have that wall finished. I'm sorry, oh no, we don't have the roof finish. Let's go back into 3D here. There's one last thing we need to do, and that is connect this roof, okay? I mean this wall up to the roof itself. So what we're gonna do is go into modify, uh, select the wall, we'll modify it, we'll attach to top to a base, okay? And you'll see the little diagram if we select the wall then we can extend it up into the roof so we're going to select the wall and then select this roof as an extension and then it does a, a boolean function for us uh, we want to do the same thing on the other side so select uh, modify And if we decide we don't want that attachment later, what we can do is come in and detach. You'll notice there was a detach to that. So uh, we can go back in here and detach. Okay. So that's under the modify wall command. And so now we've got our walls, our roof, and our uh, we actually built our floor. Uh, and next thing I'm going to show you in the next video is how to uh, use a truss system or, or to build a, a series of trusses in here.